a chapter a day to brighten your way. With God by your side, who dares to touch you? Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Isaiah chapter 33. Facing the Assyrian attack, Judah was left fainting and gasping for air. Fortunately, they finally sent an important distress message to God. In this chapter, through Judah's prayer and salvation, the prophet Isaiah will lead us to recognize God's grace and mercy and show us what it is like in God's kingdom. Let's read chapter 33 together. Isaiah chapter 33 Ah, you destroyer, who yourself have not been destroyed, you traitor whom none has betrayed. When you have ceased to destroy, you will be destroyed, and when you have finished betraying, they will betray you. O Lord, be gracious to us. We wait for you. Be our arm every morning, our salvation in the time of trouble. At the tumultuous noise, peoples flee. When you lift yourself up, nations are scattered, and your spoil is gathered as the caterpillar gathers, as locusts sleep, it is leapt upon. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with justice and righteousness, and he will be the stability of your times, abundance of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is Zion's treasure. Behold, their heroes cry in the streets, the envoys of peace weep bitterly. The highways lay waste, the traveler ceases, covenants are broken, cities are despised, there is no regard for man. The land mourns and languishes, Lebanon is confounded and withers away, Sharon is like a desert, and Bashan and Carmel shake off their leaves. Now I will arise, says the Lord. Now I will lift myself up. Now I will be exalted. You conceive chaff. You give birth to stubble. Your breath is a fire that will consume you, and the peoples will be burned as if to lime, like thorns cut down that are burned in the fire. Hear, you who are far off, what I have done. And you who are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners of Zion are afraid, trembling has seized the godless. Who among us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppressions, who shakes his hands lest they hold a bribe, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking on evil. He who dwells on the heights, his place of defense will be the fortresses of rocks. His bread will be given him, his water will be sure. Your eyes will behold the king in his beauty. They will see a land that stretches afar. Your heart will muse on the terror. Where is he who counted? Where is he who weighed the tribute? Where is he who counted the towers? You will see no more the insolent people, the people of an obscure speech that you cannot comprehend, stammering in a tongue that you cannot understand. Behold, Zion, the city of our appointed feasts. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, an untroubled habitation, an immovable tent, whose stakes will never be plucked up, nor will any of its cords be broken. But there the Lord in majesty will be for us, a place of broad rivers and streams where no galley with oars can go, nor majestic ship can pass. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. Your cords hang loose, they cannot hold the mast firm in its place or keep the sail spread out. Then prey and spoil in abundance will be divided, even the lame will take the prey. And no inhabitant will say, I am sick. The people who dwell there will be forgiven their iniquity. The prophet said, But there the Lord in majesty will be for us a place of broad rivers and streams, where no galley with oars can go, nor majestic ship can pass. Those majestic ships are like the threats and oppression of life that always eagerly surround us. But don't you worry, for when you rely on God's power and are with God, you don't have to be afraid. He protects you and watches over you, and in Him there is perfect peace. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for protecting me and being with me. 
When I rely on you, I find peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.